Hello everyone, my name is Emily and I'm an Assistant Youth and Teen Services Librarian here at Fayetteville Public Library and this is the October Recommendations video for the Box Book Society. If you are new here, the Box Book Society is a program that Fayetteville Public Library hosts for teens where they can sign up to receive a box that has a copy of that month's book as well as some other snacks and trinkets. Each month we choose a new book based on a certain theme. This month's theme is spooky books because it's October and it's Halloween season. And the book that we chose is Dread Nation by Justina Ireland. Now this book is part historical fiction, part apocalypse. It follows our main character, Jane, as she trains to become an attendant to fight against hordes of zombies. The zombie apocalypse started a few days before Jane was born, so she's been living in this world her entire life. Now this book is set during an alternate civil war in the United States, um, so around the 1860s. Because of laws in the United States at the time, Jane, as well as other black and indigenous children, are forced to train to fight the zombies. And while, yes, this is mainly a zombie book, there are a lot of different speculative politics that go on in this book as well, with um, the people in power wanting to go back to the glory days before the zombie apocalypse ever happened, which of course just means further enslavement for minorities. This book deals a lot with racism and colonialism in very interesting ways. So that's our pick for October. I think we're going to have a lot of fun with this one. I personally love zombie books, and this is definitely different from any other zombie book that I've read before, so we will see. I also wanted to give you guys some other recommendations for my favorite books in the horror genre. Um, keep in mind that I'm, only, I'm not picking, like, horror novels per se, um, so if you aren't a fan of horror, you could probably still enjoy these, because um, I know that horror is not really quite for everyone, um, so these I'm classifying as spooky. The first book I wanted to tell you guys about is one that I just read last month. It's called Eat Your Heart Out by Kelly DuVos. It's another zombie novel. Um, about a fat camp that gets overrun by genetically modified athletic zombies. Um, it follows six different main characters um, who each are being forced into this fat camp over winter break for different reasons. Now, this fat camp is being run by a corporation that produces diet products, and they are using these teenagers as guinea pigs for their new weight loss bars, weight loss supplements. And this group of kids decides that they don't want to be a part of that. Um, well, it's a good thing because those bars turn kids into zombies. So the six are left to fight their way out of the camp and take down this corporation. I loved this book. I was very surprised by it. It keeps you on your toes. It is very bloody, so watch out for that. It has speculative elements. It critiques diet culture. It critiques film culture. It critiques a lot of different things. And I thought it was super interesting and definitely worth your time. The next book I have to tell you guys about is also one that I just finished. It's called The Taking of Jake Livingston by Ryan Douglas. This one is about a 16-year-old medium who lives in Atlanta named Jake. Jake comes home one day and sees that his neighbor's son has died. Come to find out that that neighbor was a survivor of a targeted school shooting the year before. Jake thinks that this is a little suspicious, so he does some digging, and he digs a little too far and draws the attention of the ghost of that school shooter. Jake realizes that that school shooter has come back from the dead to finish what he started. And so Jake takes it upon himself to stop this guy at whatever cost. I feel like this is the closest to horror that you could probably get in teen. It's very gory. There's a lot of like sensory horror, a lot of bone breaks and uh, blood gushes and stuff like that. 
This one has a lot of trigger warnings. It's very dark. So if you're worried about stuff like that, I would give it a Google before you start it. That being said, this one is also very um, politically charged. There's a lot about racism and homophobia, bullying. There's even a little bit of um, critique of police brutality, stuff like that. Very good, but very dark. And that was The Taking of Jake Livingston by Ryan Douglas. The third book I have to tell you guys about is by an author that we actually talked about in the last video. Um, the book is Unwind by Neil Shusterman. This is one of my all-time favorite spooky books. Unwind is set in a dystopian society, not far off from our own, where kids between the age of 13 and 18 can be offered to the government by their parents to be unwound, which means the government can take you and harvest your organs to help others. Basically, they just take your body apart um, to offer prosthetics and other organs and things like that to people who need it more than a living being. Um, this is a major critique on reproductive rights. It's split perspective, so we get a bunch of different points of view, but all of the main characters that we have are kids, teenagers that have been chosen to be unwound. Um, and so it's about their journey and their attempt at survival, escape from their fate. This is a series. I think there's four books in this series. This, I read this in seventh grade and it has stuck with me ever since. Um, it's very gory again. It's definitely not horror, but the concepts are horrifying. Again, if you don't like gore, maybe this one isn't for you. But very good. I highly recommend it. Anything by Neil Schusterman, honestly, is amazing. I know I said that in the last video too, but it's true. So that was Unwind by Neil Schusterman. Now the next book that I want to tell you guys about is another one of my favorites from when I was in high school. It's called Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. And this one actually has a movie adaptation, um, not a very good one. Our main character named Jacob travels with his father to a remote island off the coast of Wales for his father's work. Now the island, in a word, is peculiar. Jacob's grandfather grew up on this island and told Jacob many crazy stories about people he met there, including stories about some kids that seem impossible. He travels into the woods and discovers an abandoned mansion, but there's something off about it. Some of it aligns with his grandfather's stories, and he discovers that some things on the island never change. This one is definitely more paranormal um, than scary. Um, the monsters are a little spooky, um, but there's a lot of sci-fi elements in this one too. I don't really want to spoil it, but um, this one is also a series. It has six books, and the sixth one just came out last year. If you like or have already read Neil Schusterman's books, I feel like this is pretty close. The last book I want to tell you guys about is more of a ghost story, um, your classic horror trends. Um, it is called Horrid by Katrina Leno. The book begins with our main character and her mom traveling to move back into their old family home after the main character's dad dies tragically. Now, this is one of those stories where it seems like everyone but the main character knows what's going on. There are a lot of family secrets that her mom is not telling her. Their house slash mansion is just straight up haunted. Everyone else in town seems to know, you know, what the family past is, what these mysteries are that her mom is withholding from her. There are a lot of little things like lights turning on and off, doors closing by themselves, whispering. This one is also interesting because it deals with something called pica, which is a disease where um, people will eat things that aren't food. Um, so the main character, specifically in this one, eats pages of a book. 
I thought that was an interesting element. There's a bit of an unreliable narrator, but all in all, this is more of like your classic um, mystery thriller horror novel, but it's very mild. It's not, it's not that scary. It's more of like atmospheric. And that was Horrid by Katrina Leno. That is all the books that I have to tell you guys about today. Keep in mind that our October meeting is Monday, October 25th at 5 p.m. Um, same drill as always. You can choose in person or virtual. Um, we only have 10 spots, so make sure you sign up quickly. Again, we're reading Dread Nation by Justina Ireland. I hope you guys enjoy this, and I hope you guys are having a fun, spooky season so far. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!